Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. We are here at Gamescom and I'm on a very swivelly chair. Here we have... Uh, my name is Luis and I'm co-founder of Hololite and I'm responsible for marketing and sales there. So tell me what you guys are, who you guys are, how did you guys get at Gamescom? Why are you here? Um, basically Hololite is a software development company which means that um, we focus on mixed reality, so HoloLens and similar devices. And we focused a lot on the industry at the moment, which means uh, developing pilots, offering products, and also doing a hardware component. And basically we are here at Gamescom because we, um, we think that sooner or later the, the, the market for games will get um, much bigger. The community at the moment is uh, quite, quite low but it will arise and we want to build up a network and be prepared if, if the games market is bigger. So where are you guys based and how big are you guys? Uh, we are a company, we were founded in, uh, in uh, Austria, but then we uh, also moved to Germany, so we are located in Munich at the moment uh, with most of our guys and we are in total 27 at the moment. Um, started around about a year ago, so last year we were only four people here at Gamescom and uh, uh, we hopefully will grow uh, further. So tell me about the products that you have here. Um, we have uh, one specific product which is called Holoview. Holoview is a 3D cat visualization tool, which means that uh, a lot of companies and engineers especially, uh, they do prototyping and at the moment they have to do 3D prints for example, it takes time, is expensive, and with Holoview you can do it much faster. So we wrote an importer for the most common file formats they just drag and drop it, visualize it, uh, can share the experience with a multi-user mode and uh, select uh, single parts, highlight them and uh, really also present it um, to, to developers, to, um, to colleagues and also to customers. So everyone can see what they're talking about and it's useful for creating sort of a final product. Uh, it is, it helps a lot and um, you can also make better decisions on design. So it, 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 uh, you have more quality in the end and uh, it's more comfortable. And is it out yet? For who is it? Uh, Holoview is available since approximately one month. Uh, it's for engineers, salespeople and basically everyone who, is, um, who wants to visualize um, big machines, um, cars, um, any kind of um, digital data. And um, so basically these are our customers, OEMs, suppliers, uh, big car manufacturers, for example, and uh, here we can have a, a big benefit for them. What are the other products that you have here as well? Uh, we are currently working on a, a lot of other products. Uh, we do things in maintenance, we do things in quality control, and also, for example, in training. Um, some of them are um, or have finished pilots, and we are basically starting to develop now. Uh, here we, we work with editor solutions so that our customers can kind of create for example, their own trainings depending on, on the machines they have. We will launch uh, our next product, uh, which is called Holo Expo. Uh, this is a specific exhibition tool. We did, for example, um, or augmented an exhibition for Festo, uh, um, machine component um, manufacturer. Uh, so they have products which are really difficult to understand and we help them with additional content or, or at least um, the, their visitors to understand better what they are doing. Can you give a few examples, specific examples of those? Yes, they uh, um, had, at, for example, um, at the Smart Automation in Linz, a uh, big automation trade fair, they had six machines and Festo is just doing one component. And this component is in the machine. So we uh, highlighted the component and we had live data uh, on the left side and we had an explanation of what is the, uh, is the product doing. And we had this in, in several or more or less different ways uh, for six machines and we'll probably do it on, on, other, on other and bigger trade fairs next year. Do you see that this is something that automation is looking for? People are excited about the products that you're creating? Definitely. Um, uh, you have to, to show them to people in the right way. Uh, the technology is quite young, so a lot of people um, are maybe a bit struggling as, uh, with the technology itself. But if, if you give them a short introduction and you do it in the right way, they are just fascinated about it. So we, we see a lot of smiling people and uh, we also have a lot of people who can really see the benefit uh, and also figures show that uh, you can save money and time in the end. All right, and you also have a pen instead of gestures for the HoloLens as well. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, we recognize that some people might uh, have problems with the gestures. 
and uh, we um, in the industry precision is very very important. So uh, we thought about a solution for that, and uh, the answer is a pen. Uh, it's unique on the market, and uh, we also recognize that in VR a lot of um, input devices are controllers and um, what else is on the market, um, joysticks or whatever. And we said, okay, why not developing a cross-platform device, uh, which makes it very simple to interact uh, with holograms. A pen uh, is uh, very precise because you can um, recognize the top of the pen, and uh, you have to imagine it's like more like the, the Surface Pen of, uh, of Microsoft, for example. Uh, it has a button, you can pick holograms, you can draw, uh, you can also show paths for machines. It's, it's very flexible. And um, when are you guys bringing it out? You guys are presenting it really soon? Yes, and our customers will get the first version beginning of next year. And how much will it cost? Uh, the price will be around 8,000 euros at the moment. Um, we have to produce them on our own, so the price is uh, quite high. But you get also an SDK delivered with it so that you can really um, create SDK? your own. You can, we can rewrite our own SDK so that you can um, use it together with HoloLens. So it's basically Unity based. Okay, fantastic. And where can we find out more information about your company and what you're doing? Uh, we are in the internet. So if you go on hololight.com, uh, you will find more information. Uh, we focus a lot on LinkedIn, so as we are a B2B company, and uh, yeah, for sure, just just uh, look online and you will find a lot of information. Go to vrfocus.com if you want to find out any more about the latest VR, AR, MR news, and I will see you there. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you.